Hello. Once again, I come before you as a representative of the Illuminati. You may call me the man. Um, this week's topic is going to be pretty short. We're kind of busy right now. Uh, things around the world are, are well, they're, they're spinning out of control. Uh, we're putting out a lot of fires, and some of them, uh, you know, not figuratively, literal fires. We're, we're putting out several things. Um, anyway, you know, Egypt is it's it's kind of falling apart. Uh, you know, we never did make it to Jamaica. You know, we, we had to go back to Egypt. And it, anyway, uh, yeah, so they're falling apart. Uh, they got the unrest in the streets. Syria is still gassing its own people, and of course now NATO stepped in with weapons and so yeah I mean and then the Trayvon Martin <clears throat> yeah that that verdicts about to come down so you know actually we're, we're taking steps to kind of calm things down a little bit we we've started adding strawberry to the to the chemical cocktail that is chemtrails uh, of course you already knew about the lavender and the the small amount of chamomile so yeah strawberry however <laughs> you see there's a side effect to that it, it does mellow people but it also makes them um, Hormonal, we'll say, uh, amorous, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, so we might see a little bit of a, a baby boom in about nine months after the Trayvon Martin verdict comes in. Um, oh, and also, if you're allergic to strawberry, you might want to stay inside, limit your outdoor exposure for I don't know, a couple of days after that verdict. Um, I'm sure that somebody will come on television and tell you to stay inside anyway because of the, I don't know, ozone count or the high pollen count, it, whatever. Anyway, wait, basically, it's if you're allergic, uh, just kind of stay inside. But uh, yeah, so this week's topic, I'm sorry, I got off track. It's, I'm thinking about a lot of stuff. Uh, anyway, this week's topic uh, comes from a guy who wants to know, what's the deal with the Russian troops in the United States. Now, there are Russian troops here in the United States. Uh, there are also Chinese troops, uh, Thai troops. Uh, just basically, there's a whole bunch of troops here in the United States, just like there are American soldiers over in various other countries um, on vacation, looking around, you know, but uh, they're not in mass. And I think this guy was referring to something that was running around the internet, though, I don't know, last month or so, uh, about uh, an agreement between Barack Obama and Vladimir Putin that uh, according to many conspiracy outlets allows 15,000 Russian troops to come in for event security. Uh, that simply isn't true, okay? Uh, this rumor about 15,000 Russian troops coming in has been operating for a very long time and now they have a document that they've attached it to so it, it seems like it's official but it's not really. The, the document, the actual agreement between Barack Obama and the Russians uh, were to share experts in the event of natural disasters and stuff like that. Say there's a big flood in the United States, the Russians would send their experts over here about how they deal with it, they would learn from us about how we deal with it, so on and so forth, back forth. You know, if there's something that happens over in Russia, then our experts go over there and there. It's a time of cooperation, you know, and cooperation is a good thing. It, there doesn't seem to be a lot of it going on right now in the world. There, it, People are just really holding on to their factions. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so I know where you got all this stuff from. It's been widely reported in conspiracy kind of or news organizations and things like that. Um, it's not true. There are no 15,000 troops coming over from Russia for event security. Uh, so don't worry about that. It's, it's just the experts that are coming over, some you know, people who are, who are trained in certain particular things that happen to them to happen every once in a while. Uh, there will always be earthquakes, there will always be floods, there will always be natural disasters, tornadoes. Um, as long as the whole system, you know, works the way it's supposed to work, unfortunately there are times when it exceeds things that are good for us. So uh, yeah, that's that's the way it works. So anyway, that's this week's topic. Uh, you know, uh, we, we're testing the concoction. Uh, we, we tested it on Johnson here. So yeah, yeah it, it's working pretty good. He's pretty mellow. The chamomile and the, the lavender and the, the addition of the strawberry, it seems to be doing a pretty good job of keeping him mellow. He, he keeps calling his girlfriend though. I'm, I'm a little worried about that. But uh, yeah, he, he won't stay off the phone with her. Uh, anyway, so yeah, it, it, you know, so if you could help, that'd be great uh, to that end. You know, when you see the brand new chemtrails blazing across the sky, they may have a slight pink tint to them. Um, hey, it'd help us a lot if you could just, you know, go outside, look up there, uh, relax, and uh, breathe deeply.